Today, we're going to grade the 15 Eastern Conference City jerseys. So by the time this episode is over, we'll have graded all 30. Yeah, man, let's just go straight into it. First up, we have the New York Knicks with the Kith jersey for the second year in a row. There is no collab better in the NBA than the New York Knicks and Kith. Every, everything that they put out is amazing. And this is no different. This is an, it's an A+. Plus. It's, a, it's a beautiful jersey. I'm a 25 year old man that wears outfits like this. I am the target demographic for Kith. I'm gonna love it. I'm going A. You be at coffee shops, and they <laughs> and they know, and they know that. Uh, they know I love a silly little hat, a silly little jacket. I'm going A too. You weigh out coffee green coffee beans by the gram. You're not wrong. I know. You're not wrong. <laughs> this is an A. I think the white looks better than the blue did last year. Was it blue or black? It was blue. Blue. Ah, it was blue, which okay. is crazy because normally I like white white jerseys. I think I like the blue better. Either way, they're, they're both it's perfect. still hard. They're both yeah, perfect. it's fire. I like when city jerseys are just like a cooler version of a normal jersey, mm -hmm. not necessarily something crazy and extravagant. Shout out, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out the Knicks. I love the branding. Next up, we got the Indiana Pacers with the second year of the graffiti shit. Holy somehow, trash. Somehow this is a little bit better. I guess this is how I know I've aged out of a certain demographic. Yeah. I am unk. 14 year olds teenagers love this jersey as an adult man i hate this and i still hate it for the second year in a row the way that we just said that you're the target demographic obviously you're not the no i'm not you are not the audience for this i've never felt so old when i look at this jersey but i was thinking about this the other the other day mm -hmm. and maybe this is my you know trying to be trying to be young i was trying to you know convert my wife to be more open-minded i was like kids are going to look back at this and they're going to be like they're going to think about these jerseys the same way that we look at like those big like Hawks jerseys from the 90s yeah. and be like, oh, I miss when jerseys were colorful and had personality. Yeah. That's what this is. So from that perspective, okay, it's a B. You got to do mental gymnastics to get to I that know, point. Exactly. Yeah. In 20 my, years, I'll be a B. Right now, this shit is a D. Get the fuck yeah. out of my face. And from my personal likes and dislikes, I agree. This sucks. I hate <laughs> it. Yeah, there we go. Put this in D. Yeah, listen, it's not minimal. I'll give them that. A lot of jerseys these days are too minimalist. This is... If nothing, it's not maximalist. So good for them on trying. Shout out to Indiana. <laughs> and listen, if the middle schoolers like it, good for them. Make them jerseys. I don't, I don't gotta buy them all. This guy's out here graffiti maxing. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> graffiti maxing is crazy. But no, I'll give it a D. It's better than last year, which was an F. It's, yeah. it's cool. It's, it's, I'm not gonna hate looking at it. I'm used to it by now. But I will not be purchasing it. Next up, with the Cleveland Cavaliers. These are so icy. These are so good. They're tough. <laughs> They're so good. What the fuck? I was not ready for this. I love it. I, I just love baby blue and white. It's hard to mess that up. It's a perfect color combination. Listen, baby blue is my favorite color in the world. This is an A+. Plus. A+. Plus. Even a plus. past the baby blue, having the land, bro, I'd be ready to fight for that state of Ohio. Yeah, the text looks nice. On. And they have the coloring it. book on the side. That works for me. The yeah. text, I love the little lines through it. Color scheme's perfect. Easy A. They've been trying to sprinkle in the baby blue and like bring it back. You've had retros with the Cavs before. Are they going to go to this full time? I don't be know. sick. I don't a lot know. of teams are rocking baby blue or just blue in general. Again, baby blue is the best color in the world. Blue is such an amazing jersey color. <sighs> it's good. Man, this is this is an I A. Like it. This is one of the best jerseys that they that the NBA has to offer right now, period. Yeah. The Cavs are on like three years in a row, elite city jerseys. They know what they're doing. Good for them. It's the best thing Cleveland got going for them. <laughs> Next up, the Orlando Magic. Two years in a row with the fucking Dallas ah, Cowboys jerseys. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Y'all don't like y'all didn't like last year. I fuck with last year heavy, and I fuck with this one even more. No, no, no! Oh no. my gosh! I don't dislike it. I just recognize that it is a Dallas Cowboys jersey. <laughs> like I can't look past that. Why do they keep doing this? Why do they, they keep, keep doing, making they amazing keep going jerseys? Hard. Why do they keep making great jerseys? Oh, <laughs> I, love okay. yeah. I love this. It's not bad at all. It just screams Cowboys. But you can like Cowboys jerseys. 100%. They're not bad. You can wear this with the jean shorts and it's going to go hard. <laughs> and the Flint 13s? Yes. <laughs> you can wear this and say next year is our year. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, our year, man. Listen, hey, when that gets healthy, oh my God. <laughs> We're going to be good. No, you're striking some nerves. We didn't have boys, man. <laughs> Guess what, Cowboys fans? Y'all suck. I hate y'all. But Whoa. it's, it's going to be okay. He looks straight to the solo camp for that. Yeah. I hate the Cowboys more than anything in my heart. Oh my <laughs> I had to get that off. No, these, are, these are very solid. These are some of the but best these jerseys, jerseys are amazing. Again, Shout that out to the NBA has to offer. I'll go B. Wow. B? Yeah, I mean, they're cool. They're not. I don't, I don't think just, they're not as good as the Cavs jerseys. What are we talking about? I think they're on par. These are looking the Cavs jerseys in the eye. Absolutely. They, they are looking them in my eye. Okay. Absolutely. I got to give it's this an a. It's an A. All right, all right, all right. Wow. I, I, don't, I don't think it's a weak B, so that's fine. The Boston Celtics. Finally. They have done something wrong. <laughs> I hate the Celtics. They make every shot. They win every game. At least they look 
Swaggerless while doing yeah, it. Yeah, always. Oh, why are you beating up on Sam Hauser? He didn't do nothing to you. I didn't say nothing about Sam. <laughs> you said looking swaggerless. Nah, Sam's Jason cool. Tatum is also swaggerless. Let's, let's make that clear. <laughs> oh Sam's God. cool. Sam's cool. No, listen. We've said it several times over the years that these are some Nerf jerseys for different teams. I've never seen a more Nerf or nothing jersey than this fucking Celtics jersey. <laughs> this Tron jersey, it's so... Yeah, it's like those Nerf footballs, the mm -hmm. foam ones. It's yeah. terrible. So boxy. So some, high school. Somehow, always had a piece missing. <laughs> yeah, so I'm biting it right now. Just, ah. yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a dog chew toy. Yeah, there's no creativity to this jersey whatsoever. It literally looks like a high school jersey. It's been yeah. made on Canva. I can make this for you right now if you want. Mm. <laughs> it no, wouldn't take you long. I want that. Three version. <laughs> this is the worst one in the Eastern Conference this year. This is an absolute F. Yeah, this is nasty. <laughs> no sauce in sight. Sorry, Sam Hauser. You got to be the guy to take the fall for this. The Chicago Bulls. This, this should, I this should be better. It should be better, but it's not. It's not trash. I don't know why, it's but I good. see this and I'm like, oh my god! Like this is just remember, this is giving me vibes of like a iPhone Rose Gold when it first came out when we were like uh, high school or elementary school. That font something. is so boring. I see this and I see nothing. There's no life to this. No character. There's nothing of redeeming qualities. It looks like a makeup line. Like what is this blush color? It's, it's so Maybelline. ugly. Yeah, what it looks like, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this looks like? Vibes. The Mavs did this like three years ago and it was I was thinking the why same. Did why did why did they redo that? No one liked yes. it. This is terrible. Deep. Because the terrible? Bulls do that every time. The Bulls mm. see, oh, you didn't like it? Now we're going to do it. That's <laughs> yeah. what they do. That's what they did with Nikola Vucevic. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they did with Josh Giddey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, hey, for the, they're respectable because they know who they are and they keep on running it. I'm getting, it's, a, it's a D. Self-aware ass is still ass. I'm going D. <laughs> it's At a least D. they own it. I, mean, I think this is a C. This is not terrible to me. It's nothing. It's just nothing here. Sorry. It's not bad, though. This guy. It's entirely forgettable, and it will go down in history as one of the city jerseys of all time. Next one, the Toronto Raptors. You put that, if you put that baby dinosaur on the front of a jersey, it's going to look good. Mm, it's great. I, know what it is? I, playing into it and having Vince Carter be the dinosaur is a very bold move that could be really corny or could be great. They played with fire, and they came out on top. Again, this baby dinosaur has saved this franchise. The baby <laughs> dinosaur and Kawhi Leonard supply all the aura for the Raptors Racks. for the last 25 years. That dinosaur, years. undefeated. Ugh, that Never dinosaur lost. Never lost. is the reason why they have some of the hardest jerseys that the NBA has to offer of all time, point blank, period. So it's like, I see this, and grant them immediately. Exactly. You know immediate. what jersey is real when he pulls out the point blank, period? We're giving this an A. Would you rather be the Celtics win every game but look swaggerless? Hell no. Nah. Or lose every game, but it doesn't matter because we look good doing it. <laughs> look good, play good. Yeah, give me the, give me the Raptors jersey, I guess. going with the Raptors. Yeah, another one today. Listen, we're getting a lot of good ones this year. We are never this positive in no. city jerseys for the okay. third year. In a, third year no. we're doing it. We've never had a more good than bad city jersey batch. The Charlotte Hornets. This is a city jersey. It's a C. This is the same thing they did when they did CLT. They just put they Charlotte just removed the CLT. It's exactly the same. The this looks like a normal jersey. <laughs> it's cool though. It's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's like fine. It's a normal jersey. You yeah. can't be putting CLT on the front of, of, yeah. the, of the jersey. Yeah, very dangerous. Yeah. But... They realize their audience, like, guys, we mm -hmm. have to be family friendly. We have a lot of kids showing up at our games. Put this in the corner. Oh, no, wait. No, there's CLT at the bottom. Oh, they snug it in there. They love Clint. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see. Okay. It's got see. nasty. The Philadelphia 76ers. This is good. This is dope. I, I just love rainbow. Any, anybody that incorporates, like, a multitude of colors like that, like what the Denver Nuggets have done for years, I'm going to love it. But it's so bl it's blocky rainbow. I love blockiness. That's cool. I like it. I don't know You're if not it a coincides fan? with I, I like Why? it, but I don't like the way they did it. Why? It's very. I love it. This, is, this is very cool. I love a good chunky Because green. orange is part of the rainbow. What do you mean? Why what do you have against there? orange? I. Why is green there? Do you not know about Roy G. Biv? <sighs> Roy G. Biv is the homie, bro, but not in this case. <laughs> 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 he got me through some times, bro. What? This looks to me like an A. I'm, a I'm, solid I'm B going to A. I'm going A. I'm feeling mad optimistic today. I'm feeling A. I'm going A. You're outvoted. It's a, it's a B to me. It just doesn't feel cohesive. But it's not it's not a bad jersey. Everything in the front is cool. As soon as you turn it to the side, I'm like, ah. That's the best part. This, you blues, like that. this is the Blues Clues jersey in the best way possible. You like that. I like it. Childish. I love it. <laughs> Give me childish jerseys. I, mean, I love a good childish jersey if it looks good. Actually, yeah, I was calling the Pacers childish. Yeah, exactly. You no, I love, I love a childish jersey that looks like a 90s child. A vintage childish jersey. This modern childish jerseys look terrible. This guy's just That's nostalgic. a real uncle right there. <laughs> yeah, there yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Better aesthetics back then for jerseys. Okay. The Brooklyn Nets. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to believe. This jersey is not made for me. Mm. I know. I didn't like these cause jerseys when they first started rolling them out over the past few years. They kind of won me over. I kind of like this. 
It's not bad, but there's so much going on at once. Kind of works for me. I, they, they got me. For, no. for, I hated it at first, and I, I'm on board now. Give me this eighth grader jersey. I fuck with it. You used a descriptor too early. This is a Blue's Clues jersey. And I like it. I, Blue's Clues is a great TV program. I can't get with it. I learned a lot from Blue's Clues. It almost feels like I can't a throwback Blue's Clues program, though. Like, if you're rocking this jersey, I fully expect you to have an afro, some sort of long hair, and, like, a boom box on your shoulder, too, as well. Sounds like, like that matches. Sounds like exactly what they're going for. Sounds like Brooklyn. And if the, that's like, what it is, this, sees, this feels like a B. I agree. It's a B. And I like the little cause eyes on the waistband. That looks cool. Mm, I didn't even notice that. You, you don't know your branding. <laughs> this is solid. Yeah, that's a B. The Milwaukee Bucks. Maybe Milwaukee needs to change their colors. Yeah, they love blue in these city jerseys. And every time they go to blue, it's hard. Yeah. yeah. I like this jersey a lot. This is this is very cool. Is that line? Is that like the shape of the state? I have no idea. I have no, if that's the case. Don't nobody know what Wisconsin is shaped like. <laughs> <laughs> if it is, that's a cool concept. I've said it once and I've said it again. I'll say it again. I love Milwaukee does blue. It always I think works. it is. I think it is. Because if you see at the bottom, they have Wisconsin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think that is the too. state. That's I a cool agree. concept. The cream and blue works every single time. Is this cream or white? It looks like it's white. It's like time. an off-white. It's a creamy off-white, I think. Hey. That's what it usually is. I'm going to go B+. Hmm. I'm, I'm not going to go A because we've seen better blue ones in the Bucks, mm-hmm. but it's still a B+. I'll go B. Well, I'll give this a B. I'll give this a B. I don't know if that's real cream. It looks more Who white Who cares? It might be white. <laughs> I, am, I am Captain Cream over here, so I care. All right, If they remain consistent... Then I'm gonna be like, okay, cool. I have to have this. I have to have one of these jerseys in my hands and this. Captain Cream. Yeah. Nah, that's crazy. That's that's crazy. <laughs> I'm Colonel Cumshot. Oh, <laughs> <next one. laughs> we got Heat Culture. I'm going home. On, we we like got to be remote again. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Heat Culture for the second year in a row. They one are stupid for for running this back. I can't remember if it was like this on the first one. Was, the fact that they distress culture yeah, that, made it seem like they work extra hard. Like they're in the literal the mud, bro. I saw someone on Twitter say the culture's fading away. How poetic. Yeah, they ran out of ink. <laughs> Look at that. terrible. This shit is ass. It was <laughs> ass last year. The red's a little bit better, so maybe it's like a it F plus more. instead of F, but D no minus for me, D minus for me. <laughs> yeah, bro. If I'm this if I'm Robin Hood, bro, and I see this city jersey, I'm relinquishing my fucking sponsorship. Ew. Look how much is going on. There's how big ass culture. Heat above culture is already stupid. And the 22 is so close to culture. There's three blocks of text that are so bunched up. It Break it down for And then you have hella Break space right there, bro. It's just and then the two logos, there's just so many letters. It's horrendous. Tell them they principles is off. Right, I take away the F plus. This is an F minus. <laughs> the Atlanta Hawks. Mm. Okay, this, everybody loves baby blue this year how you feel yeah yeah last year i was not rocking with it at all but this even though like it's it's different this respects the city of atlanta this is representative of what atlanta is about right now bro young thug he just came he just got out bro he will be proud of this jersey you're dedicating this one to young thug yeah absolutely. <laughs> he's proud of this jersey listen man young thug would never wear this jersey in his life what i bet gucci man would he 100% would. Oh, yeah. he's Yeah, he for sure would. He for sure would. This jersey's hard. This is an A. Yeah, it's like a Boy, B minus. It's cool. They've done way better this blue colorway before. Their standards are too high? Yeah. The, the, the big stripe, I like what they're going for. It's a little bit meh. It looks a little, I don't know, it looks real 60s. The only thing that's like, I like the idea. I don't know if I like Hawks within that blue because it makes it feel like it's like almost a ribbon or so. But yeah. I like it. It's cool. Yeah, it looks like yeah. a sash. Like yeah. he's prom queen. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I like he's it. homecoming queen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's okay, though. Yeah, B minus. If he's homecoming queen, he is my homecoming queen. All right. <laughs> All right. Next one. Next one. <laughs> and then the, the Detroit Pistons. Hard. This is a... Oh, my... Why am I saying A all the time? Fuck, this is an A. Well, like... It's a good B. It's a very... It's a good jersey. The text is cool. I like the orange. I love when teams do random colors for the city jerseys. I fuck with it. It looks like Detroit. It looks like some like they're consistent auto industrial. It looks like a real car type of jersey. Mm-hmm. Okay, Detroit. We're American back up. American Muscle. I love it. Put this in A. American Muscle. Yeah, <laughs> it's a VA jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I see Detroit on the up and up. Basketball is good. Jerseys are good. Okay. Yeah. Shout out Detroit B. <laughs> Meet out here winning TikTok wars. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, the Washington Wizards. It's better. Than what they had last year. So much better. So much better because the colors are better. I can kind of get with this. Yeah, I kind of like it now. Last year, it was the worst city jersey I've ever seen in my goddamn life because the colors were gross and the text is dumb. The text looks more appropriate with this color scheme. I don't even hate that part anymore. Can we, If they can get like 
an actual like wizard mascot on these days, I'm what is I'm a, what does a wizard have to do with like the city of DC? I guess because it's a some wizards are medieval is the whole point. I like, guess and it's like a gothic ish city yeah. or whatever. But I, I don't love that it says the district. That part I don't love that text, but it looks cool. It's a good font. It wouldn't be bad if they just called it the district. But they're saying the District of Columbia. It's too It's too formal. Yeah, the of Columbia is implied. You don't got to say it. The District okay. of Columbia. Don't insult my so, intelligence. I know of Columbia comes next. Exactly. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not terrible. Though. And it's honestly, there's like an true. epidemic in city jerseys of too many letters on them. Uh, the, the Timberwolves one last year said wolves. I didn't realize until after we did the video. This one says Minnesota. That's mm. so many letters. And yeah, this is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then Robin Hood. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 letters and two numbers. Damn. And then DMV on the shorts? 32 letters and two numbers. <laughs> and one and two logos. That's too much. Too much. It's too much. So what? C? C. Plus? I'll go C. Uh, C's fine with me. All they're right. rising up from an F, so they're honestly most improved candidates. Okay, I like that idea. It's going exactly the way the Wizard season is going. Exactly. Until Kyle Kuzma came back. RP. RP. And that's the end of this. We've graded every single NBA City jersey for this season. What was the best one? Ooh. I like the Cavs a lot. Cavs is great. Cavs is dope. I think, yeah, it may be the Toronto Raptors, just naturally. Nah. Knicks. But the Knicks are hard, too. They're top 10. So the, so the Minnesota Timberwolves. I don't know what's the best. I don't know. Okay. Uh, Memphis Grizzlies. Mm. Oh, yeah. That, Memphis Grizzlies. They had a good one. They had a good yeah. one. 